Yes, Queen's Wednesday is still running. My name is Barry Moses or it's by Mo on social media. And I uh, guess it's that time, the time you've all been waiting for, that time for the conversation on our Facebook page. We asked you guys a question. What are the most common causes of breakups? And due to that matter, I have uh, some guests in studio with me who are going to help me demystify uh, from Berlin or Dede is our first guest. And Esther Mungure. I hope I got that right. Yes. Karibuni sana. Asante. So your camera is number four. Uh, we can kick it off uh, by you guys just introducing yourself. If I left something out, you can include it in your in your in your titles. I'm a baby. Let's start with you, uh, Berlin. Okay, my name is Berlin Odede. Mm -hmm. I'm a student of life, just mm -hmm. like I said earlier on. Mm -hmm. But I major so much on communication. Uh, communication yes. is your speciality. Yes. All right. Karibu sana, Abelin. This is not your first time, uh, so I know you're used to this. Mm. Uh, how about you? Uh, you cover mm. it. This is not for me. This is for the viewers at home. Uh. My name is Esther Mungure. Uh -huh. I am currently working as a website developer uh -huh. um, and also a graphic designer. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I do a lot of things also. You do a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> You're a jack of uh, yeah. so many I'm a, trades. I'm a jack of all trades. All right. Yes. <laughs> Let's just say so many trades. So many trades. All right. So Karibuni Sana. And uh, we have this topic at hand. Uh, people have been, uh, I've had a lot of things to say on Facebook. Uh, but I won't focus on that yet. I'd like to get your, your perspectives on this. Uh, so uh, problems exist in relationships. We know that for a fact. Mm. All right. Uh, so before we get to to the part of breaking up, what are some of the mistakes people make while getting into relationships or while convincing themselves that they're actually in love with so and so uh, when they're just uh, in other things apart from love? Maybe we can start with you, Bella. Okay, but I think. Uh -huh. Overconfidence. Overconfidence is a problem. Yeah, and uh -huh. over excitement. Over excitement. Mm, and over expectations. Over Everything is over, over, over. Over, over, over. Yeah. Um, um, excitement. Mm. We'll get back to excitement, but let's just carry on. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me, you get into a relationship mm -hmm. expecting too much. Mm -hmm. And then when you don't get the, in, when you don't meet your expectations, mm -hmm. you get disappointed and then you just feel that no. All right, so over expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, you expect too much. Yes. All right, expecting less means you're going to lower your standards as well. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, you are. So how, how much is of expecting? Okay, in life everything should be at, at you should do things moderately. All right. If you meet somebody, Optima. maybe yes, <laughs> at least at some equilibrium, huh? yeah. you find that, okay, if, the, if I get this, I'm yeah. okay. If yeah. I don't, I'm okay. But if you just make it so rigid that this is what this man must meet. Uh -huh. Then I think at the end of it, you must get hurt or All you right. will break out. All right. So over, 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 over expectations, mm. over, over confidence, mm. over excitement. Mm. All right. I'm guessing if I'm over excited, it means I'm attracted to this person designing in Mbaya, which is a good thing. Not really. Sometimes. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes we have the issue of infatuation, uh -huh. where you get to, like, it's almost the same thing that she's saying, mm -hmm. where you are overexcited, mm -hmm. so you really don't know if it's a love, or, mm -hmm. you just, or you just want something else mm -hmm. from this relationship. So you might get in, and then two months down the line, you're mm. like, mm, no. This was a mix mistake. Yeah, this was a mistake. All right. Mm. So, um... Over, exact, over, we should not do things over. Yeah. Always find mm -hmm. a, a balance. balance. A balance. All right. But what happens when this person makes you feel that way? Feel overexcited. You know, when we are, we are in a relationship with you, uh -huh. you cannot define my emotion. Uh -huh. I will not allow you. Uh -huh. Yeah, if I, you want to tell me that, oh, you know, Berlin, I love you so much. Okay, you continue loving me. Uh -huh. But the way I receive that love solely depends on me. Uh -huh. So I cannot take the over. Uh -huh. I'll just take the ones that <laughs> I think I need. <laughs> yeah, right, you continue over loving me if you uh -huh. could like. You can even kill yourself. Uh -huh. That's m n not my problem. All but right. I'll just take the portion that I need. Uh -huh. Yes. Just take the portion uh, that you need. Yeah. Even when somebody's given that over. Yeah. If they're given it in abundance. Mm. All right. Uh, so uh, one time I had a guest here. They told me Nigerian men know how to love their women. Mm. They give you over this 
they shower you with this and that. Mm. You mean to tell me ladies don't love being showered with love? It is a notion. We, we do like being showered with love. The only, like I say, the only challenge we, in the beginning, or what you usually think that you need from mm -hmm. a relationship, so you might, you, you might decide that you will start, uh, in, you start a relationship mm -hmm. with this person who um, is offering you gifts, is uh, mm -hmm. lavishing you with everything that you need. Mm -hmm. Then you get into the relationship and then now you're like, oh, uh, I need love. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I need friendship. Mm -hmm. uh, I need communication. Uh -huh. mm. But the guy is like, eh, I'm giving you. Okay. This is how we started. Yeah. Mm. We started off with gifts. Th yeah, this is how Let's we started. keep it at gifts. Let's keep it at gifts. Uh -huh. So if you are going to, it, it needs to be consciously a choice uh -huh. where you're like, I want gifts or uh -huh. I want love. All right. Thank you very much for that one. So I have a list here. Uh, that was compiled and these are some of the uh, causes of breakups uh, after <laughs> after people get into relationship so uh, one is bad behavior uh, this is assuming that until you guys got into a relationship or you overlooked a lot of things in the process you ended up with somebody who has behaviors that you probably don't like yeah? or another thing uh, could be, I don't know, some people are just good liars, yeah? <laughs> hmm. Have you met them? Yeah. <laughs> you have met That's them? That's true. <laughs> All right. So, bad behavior. How can bad behavior be a cause of relationship and you decide to get into a relationship with someone that you at least know? Mm. Uh -huh. I think... Okay. Oh. okay. Mm. Well, one thing I think we really have to understand here. Love. Uh -huh. This word, this four-letter word, uh -huh. love. Uh -huh. To me, its real meaning has not been established. Uh -huh. it, is a, it is a notion that I'm in love. Uh -huh. In love with what? Uh -huh. Or with who? You know, somebody comes like you are trying to give us the example of the Nigerian men. Uh -huh. It is just a notion that they know how to love. Uh -huh. Those people hit me. Th th this is third hand information. Yeah. I was told by somebody else. It this is to me, it is wrong. That's right. why it is a personal choice. Uh -huh. I'll only pick what I want from you. Mm -hmm. e even though I'm in love, mm -hmm. but whatever I offer, not necessarily that I have to pick everything from you. Uh -huh. You see, I have just to pick what I think is good for my heart because uh -huh. I have some here th something here that I must protect. Uh -huh. I must protect with all my sweat. That's my heart. Uh -huh. Because when it's broken, uh -huh. sometimes it takes you time to pick it back again. Uh -huh. So it doesn't matter uh, whether you give me a jeep or what. Uh -huh. Yeah, you must tell me the, you are, what, you, what is behind this jeep. You, uh -huh. know? you don't just handle things to me, then I accept. Yeah, that's why uh -huh. sometimes it is rare maybe to find a woman uh, rejecting a gift, uh -huh. but it is good for your heart. Uh -huh. Yeah, to because somebody that particular yes, gift. because somebody will give you a gift. Uh -huh. Then it starts controlling you. They have expectations. Yeah, now. yes. Right. This jeep, it must be like this. It must be, these are the places you have to go with this. Then go away with your jeep. Uh -huh. Yeah, I need some freedom. Uh -huh. That's why I'll pick what I want. Uh -huh. You pick what you want yes. in the long run. Yes. All right. Uh, maybe you can list uh, so, so, some of these bad behaviors that you think uh, a man shouldn't have. Yeah, there are things that I think we may just generate. basic things yeah. from uh, some people are just too side. much into these two what things. Okay. Yeah, okay. according to him, you are in a relationship. Whenever he finds you in uh -huh. the toilet, in the house, in a twa -twa. Oh, okay. As but if there's nothing people else you can are do. different. Yeah. Drives are different. People have different drives, and this uh, people are born different. So yeah. uh, uh, you can't judge somebody for being the way they are. I'm guessing. Yeah, I can't judge, mm. but. I'll pick what I want still. All right, yeah. in the long run. Mm. So that is something you can't stand. Mm. Uh, somebody who's just always uh, like a time. goat. Uh, All right. <laughs> what is another thing that you can't stand <laughs> about a man? Huh? Some people are just dirty. Some people are just dirty. dirty Hygiene words, is very important. For words, you. even words. Okay. Or he meets you, he just want to mention things the way they are. Okay. No, sometimes you get. I I I, I I'm starting to learn who belly <laughs> is uh, with time. All right. So that is very important to you. Behave um, in a tragedy etiquette. Let's yeah. call it etiquette. Yeah. Some personal etiquette is very important yes. to you. What are some of the behaviors you can stand in uh, in a guy? Some of the common ones that we hear. Hmm. Mm. I think for me it's uh, things like heavy drinking. Heavy drinking is. Yeah. Okay, drinking is not bad. Heavy. Drinking is not bad, mm. but uh, heavy drinking is bad. Uh -huh. Where you get to a point now, we, we you had things planned. 
<laughs> everything was planned you had you, you you even had fees planned or something like that and this person decides to go and the reason is because of drinking mm -hmm. so anything I, I believe anything that is overboard mm -hmm. so we go back to balance mm -hmm. everything that is overboard whether it's drinking mm -hmm. smoking mm -hmm. drug abuse all right, yeah. you focus on drugs. Have you had experience with a drug, with a drug abuser? <laughs> <laughs> that is I've heard. I've you, heard. You've had? Yeah, I've heard. And Not me, uh -huh. but I've heard uh -huh. of people with uh, who have who have been in that experience. With drug abusers. Yeah. So this guy could be everything else. Loving, yeah. charming. Yes. But drugs will cut him up. Yes, drugs will, will take him away. But one thing I would like to say when it comes to... Um, the reason why people break up is I would like to talk about compatibility. Mm -hmm. Most people um, break up because they're not compatible. Mm -hmm. So we look, we have this list, checklist, mm -hmm. but you, you really don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. You have a checklist from, you got it from the internet. Mm -hmm. You have a checklist that you got it from your friend, mm -hmm. but you don't have a checklist for yourself. For yourself, your self awareness. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So when you get to know who you really are, and now you are ready uh -huh. to interact now with other people uh -huh. you get to look for the things that you really need all right mm -hmm. uh, my friend says uh, she can't stand a stingy man <laughs> but that is besides the point i'd like to get to this point of cheating cheating is one major cause of uh, breakups in relationships recently i saw a blog post that uh, had one of our gospel celebrities say uh, cheating is a minor offense is cheating a minor offense, especially for men? It is a, it's a major offense. It's a capital it is, offense. It is. In fact, even biblically, it's not supposed to be mentioned. Uh -huh. Yeah, if you know you are, you still want to jump around, do please you, jump around. Don't even. It's in the yourself. Ten Commandments. Yeah, do not commit. Biblically, it is wrong. Adultery. Adultery. Yes. Commandment number. <laughs> yes, that way. So yeah. cheating is a no-no. <laughs> How about you? Cheating is a no-no. Yeah. Okay, I w when when we come to thinking about these uh, problems that you have in breakups, and then we pick them one by one, mm -hmm. it's funny how when you get to be with, for one person, cheating is a no-no, mm -hmm. but f with someone else, you might reconsider. Have Have you ever been in such a su such a situation? I don't think so. Some <laughs> sometimes, uh -huh. sometimes. But I've seen such situations. Yes, yeah, sometimes yes. you you know so well that some of these things are a no no to you. Mm -hmm. But when you get involved with someone, it might even take place maybe twenty years down the line. Uh -huh. And what will you do when it's twenty years down down the line? You've been good all along. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now it's happening now, uh -huh. twenty years down the line. Uh -huh. And this person has a genuine reason for, for cheating. cheating. Yeah, for cheating. For cheating. Maybe they so have so, a Sometimes it's a no-no. Sometimes <laughs> yeah, exactly. it's a no-no. No, 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 exactly. Okay. It's, it's, um, I, I feel like when you get to be with someone, mm -hmm. if you are getting along and you've been, you've been doing it for a while, mm -hmm. if someone falls off uh, the wagon, mm -hmm. let's say, um, you as a lady or you as a man decides mm -hmm. to get more involved with something else, mm -hmm. say work. And you've been communicated to about this frequently. She's mm -hmm. telling you, hey, what's happening? Mm -hmm. Why aren't you taking time to be mm -hmm. with me, to be with us? And then it's still it's going still, on and on. It's still and on going and on and on and mm -hmm. on. If that happens, cheating happens, mm -hmm. what, what are you going to say about it? All right, so pe okay. what are you saying? People need to take responsibility. Yes. So uh, sometimes yes. cheating is not uh, the fault of the cheater only. This exactly. is what you're trying to say. Exactly. It's not... Uh, but it's, it's, it is a decision it made two, by the cheater. It takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. Uh -huh. So even when you are getting into this relationship with uh -huh. a cheater, what exactly were you looking for? Mm hmm if you're looking for uh, for being showered with gifts and mm -hmm. then he goes cheats on you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I get your you, point. You, That's you, a valid you get, point right there. You get what I'm, what yeah, I'm trying to I'm say. Get, I'm getting exactly. your point right there. Uh, exactly. But remember, we have this conversation on Facebook, so you're free to contribute as well. White54 channel on Twitter, White54 underscore channel on Instagram, and White54 on Facebook. Okay. So we have this situation where 
uh, you said it takes two to tango. It takes two to tango. <laughs> It takes you to tango. Well, the lens seems to be very, <laughs> very <laughs> opposed yeah, to this. What I seem not to agree with uh -huh. that uh, there's a reason to cheat. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then maybe along the along the line you say, anyway, it is just okay. Mm -hmm. It was justifiable. You see? Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to go with the public, biblical statutes. Uh -huh. Whatever God says, uh -huh. you cannot say otherwise. He says uh -huh. it is wrong too. So yeah. I cannot say otherwise. Akuna sababu, akuna sababu ilu taniambia, Mm -hmm. Unajua I'm going out of this relationship because maybe you are far away from me mm -hmm. or maybe because you are so engaged in your job. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll Cheating be doing it, yes. Normal. It is wrong. It is no. Why? Yeah. Or if it, if it is in a marriage, mm -hmm. then choose the second wife or third or fourth. So it's that not, not cheating, cheating when I tell you, okay, baby, I have uh, wife number two B here. Wife is not cheating. What did Solomon do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's but not cheating where you go and steal. All right. You go and steal, uh -huh. then you come and lie to me that all is well. Uh -huh. Then I think you are cheating. That is a, that is a problem. Yeah. But, but you introduce uh, Mercy here uh -huh. and tell me that this is your. <laughs> 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 you are too busy. You are busy. Zana kazini. Okay, it's a new uma. But to sometimes na juo ukulala inje na juo ukokuwa kwa Mercy. At least you're you know, better man, off knowing. Yes, yeah. All right. Those are very interesting perspectives. Uh, from the both of you right there. <laughs> I'd like to close that cup with Jitek. I'd like to get into this uh, point of uh, toxic people. Mm. Yes, we've had this term, toxic relationships. These guys are in toxic relationships. What do you think is a, is a cause of toxic uh, relationships? What causes a relationship to be toxic from your perspective? Huh. Um, I think the major cause is communication, lack of, mm. lack of communication. Lack of communication. Yeah, so you... Okay, I'd like to hold you with that. There's a relationship, people are communicating, but mm. their form of communication that is, is shouting yeah. and gla throwing glass and punches. Exactly. But they're still communicating. Oh, they're still communicating, mm. yes. Communication is there, but the form it's wrong. is... It's wrong it's communication. Yes. Yes, exactly. So, we, oh, that, oh, so now <laughs> you're asking me what form of communication should be taking place? Uh, no, I'm um, just say lack of communication. I'm ah, just lack of communication. No, oh, poor, okay. Um, oh, yeah. Poor, poor communication. Poor communication. Yeah. But poor communication defines it. Right? Exactly. All right. Mm. Uh -huh. so, so this is a major cause of to uh, of toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm. So poor communication. We should find a way to always communicate. To me, I think people should be at least flexible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when something is, there is a subject we need to discuss on, please just sometimes allow to be corrected. Mm -hmm. Let me allow to be sometimes be corrected. I'm mm -hmm. not the one who knows it all. Mm -hmm. Rigidity that at you can't. Uh -huh. because uh -huh. I'm the man. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm the woman. You know, uh -huh. I have degree or what? Such kind of rigidity. There's mm -hmm. communication, but it's a wrong communication. So rigidity is a, is a mm. toxicity oh, in relationship. Oh, right. oh, Somebody told me when two people are very much alike, mm -hmm. chances are they're going to be have a toxic relationship. If I'm the kind of guy who, uh, who likes to be the alpha, mm -hmm. uh, and the lady also likes to be the alpha, chances are this relationship is going to be toxic. Mm -hmm. Do you guys agree? Yeah. That is also a fact. Yeah, that's so the rigidity. Okay. You are you 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 stuck. You are alpha and omega. Right. I'm also my alpha and omega. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, you seem to be having a different perspective on this. Um, okay, I I I, you I agree. Feel, I agree. Uh -huh. I agree. I agree. So uh -huh. alpha alpha uh, might uh, lock heads. Uh -huh. Better better. <laughs> probably nothing will go on in the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> So you need alphabet. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> maybe you should have alphabet uh, uh -huh. uh, not picking the gender. Not picking the gender. Not picking mm. the gender. Okay. We should not always have the man as alpha. No. We can have the alpha female yeah. and then the man relax it. Yes. Okay. Because now okay. where will the better men go? Mm-hmm. Mm. And I like, no pun intended. Mm, no. <laughs> Where will the better man go? <laughs> All right. Where will they go? So, okay, so uh, thank you very much for that one. Oh, we have this uh, issue. Humans are born liars, naturally. We are just liars. Even sometimes kids cry and there's nothing really happening to them. They just want that attention. Mm -hmm. So, uh, honestly, can somebody be, is there anything as 100%?